Welcome to this Mastery Empowerment Course from New Earth One Network. This is designed exclusively for your higher self connection and embodiment. Welcome to this Mastery Empowerment Course as we're celebrating the New Earth Codes of Divine Light. We are here with Metatronia founder, Tammy Myshak, who's got a Metatronia source light attunement for us. This is something that we feel and experience. Hello, Tammy. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Hi, Lauren. It's lovely to see you again. <laughs> Yes, you've done incredible work over the years. Now is a wonderful time for these energies as there's lots going on in the external world. This is really allowing us to connect inward to our higher self, to higher frequencies. Can you share with us the importance of Metatronia frequencies now on our planet? Absolutely. I mean, um, the system has so much explosive impact on the vessel with, with energy and frequency and whatever's going on in the world. And I think it's so important for us to come back to our source. And that is what Metatronia energy is. It's the source of us. It's our true frequency, our truth, our love, our light, our divinity. And to come home, home, home back into the center of our being where we are literally awakening and lifted up, um, not only in our consciousness, but in the light and love in the vessel. So this starts to change this uh, energy that we've all probably experienced the last year, especially feeling very heavy and weighed down. We literally get back to our light source. So it's an initial, I don't like to say initial, actually, it, it's, it's a welcoming back to the truth of your being, the true vibration that you are and the love and light that you are. And I think this is so, so important that we come back to ourselves. We come back to our hearts and we, we can all connect in that way just by being these, this beautiful being of light without this impact of society, politics, everything. Let's just come. And, you know, when we all come back to this place of oneness, we're all the same. We all resonate with the same joy and love and harmony. And this is so, so important because the world is a little bit lost right now. And that really is important. We talk about this all the time, how this connection is imperative. It's critical. It's a requirement. And it is the way forward. Do you want to share more about SLA, Source Light Attunement, what it really is? Yeah, basically, um, I think a lot of people now are aware of, of the term distant attunement or distant connection or distant healing. 
what the source light attunement does is um, if, if you think of myself as a conduit, the go between. So when I'm doing some something like we're doing now, this beautiful session that we're doing now. So we say to the universe, bring this light to these beautiful people, these people that are open to receive. So what happens is it's not me orchestrating it, although I'm here to talk and, and sort of um, guide a little bit. What happens is the, the higher part of the vessel, if you like, that's become disconnected, connects in with source and it consciously becomes part of the vessel's um, energetic electromagnetic system, if you like. So you've got a person who may not be aware of these outer energies that are very, very important for us to be aware of these now. And, and I just, I'm just a conduit, as I say, to say, look, let's bring this light in and let the vessel experience. Um, I just want to say it's not a control thing from myself. It's just as a, as a conduit to say, let's now embody this frequency. Let's really feel it. But you know, the beauty of it, Lauren, is we actually all have it within us already. Archangel Metatron's just uh, tweaking those vibes up a little bit so we can literally lift up in frequency. So it's very much about um, electromagnetic energies. Um, some people say adamantine particles, whatever you want to call it. I call it light, it's source. So we're just ramping up that source a little bit. And when you have the source light attunement, because we're all unique, it, it, it works in unison with that unique story, that, that divine being, their purpose, what they're here to do. So it's quite, um, quite a beautiful reconnection to the truth of being and the truth of soul so many that are lost literally come back into being and an important part of this if i might say so is we don't know the mechanics of what's happening in the in the ether if you like <clears throat> excuse me but what we do know is that from experience of those people that have had the source light attunement there's magnificent transformations going on on a vibrational level above what we can perceive from the, from the sort of limited consciousness. So we just have to allow, we ju you just allow that light to come in and do what it wants to do, what it perhaps needs to do. And that takes our vibration up another level and the consciousness rises so that this doesn't come from ego. It doesn't come from um, going on a course for six months or spending a load of money. This is just the vessel saying, hey, I'm actually, I am source. And we've just given you a little knock on the door to show you what those frequencies are. Just opening to your divine potential. Now more than ever, that's available to us with these energies, these new energies that are coming in onto our planet that are available for us. You mentioned Metatron. Can you share more? We know he's an archangel. He's a grandmaster. He's an angelic being. But how is he helping in this? He is at the top of the tree, if you like, of the ascending, ascension, awakening process. I don't like to use the word awakening too much because I believe we are all, we're already awakened. We just went into a little bit of slumber. So Archangel Metatron assists the light evolution. That's a key word. Is it, we, we are evolving as human beings. <clears throat> He's just saying that we have to evolve as human beings consciously in order for us to experience what we already have in, within us. So we have DNA codings um, and we've only touched the surface of our capability as human beings. So Archangel Metatron comes in, shows us our vibrational um, capacity, our divinity. And he's sort of like he is sort of the closest to, if you like, the creator in the guidance of human beings. Um, I'm hesitant there because I know that there's a lot, there's a lot of um, talk at the moment that Archangel Metatron's energy is not um, a positive energy. I can tell you with my hand on my heart, he is the overseer of the evolution of humanity. Um, this cannot be disputed because when we feel it for ourselves, then that's our own verification. So although I can talk and talk and talk, I always feel that for somebody to feel the vibration for themselves, which we'll do shortly, um, that takes the, the physical experience, takes the, the talking away. Because if you can feel something and the brilliance of light, 
you don't need words, you don't need explanation because the vessel then begins to connect to the source, which is Archangel Metatron's um, brilliance, his frequency, his, his, it's funny, I don't like to just call him an archangel. He's, he's everything, you know, he's, um, he so loves humanity. He so loves every being and he wants them to experience their divine potential. So when you work with him, he doesn't mess about. It's very transformational. It's very quite disciplined, actually. Um, it's not connected to religion. It's more so it's light. So he teaches you the truth of light through vibration. <clears throat> Excuse me. So every unique experience for every unique soul is their verification of who and what is Archangel Metatron. So it's very much a unique, unique experience. Now, an attunement is raising of one's frequencies. Can you explain specifically that word attunement? Because it's our higher self connection, but you are raising us up into that frequency? Lovely question. Yes. So we're, 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 we've been showing those radio buttons again. So we're ramping it up. Um, we're, we're, he is attuning a the vessel. To, I'm just trying to explain why he's saying attuning the frequency of the vessel. He's saying that's already within us. It's, and then you, you look at the human being as emotional, mental capacity, uh, spiritual capacity, all the different levels of our being, our consciousness. So he works through those layers to remove the density. So the attunement is the rising of the frequency to remove all of these things that we, for example, we may think that we're a particular person or we may think we're here to do a particular thing, but that might be on a lower frequency, a lower level, a lower vibrational capacity to what we actually are. I mean, for example, just briefly, I was working in an office for 20 odd years. And then one day, um, I've told this story a number of times, but one day my frequency got vamped, ramped up so quick and so fast, I was in bed for a couple of weeks because it was literally a vibrational shifting. Now, what Metatron was showing me there is it's all about frequency. So what he's doing with the, the, the source light attunement is saying, we need to ramp you up a little bit so you can understand your true potential. So you can rise and evolve within your, your capacity because we can't get stuck in separated consciousness. It has a purpose and yet, um, He's showing me that people see angels and they draw angels and their visualization of an angel is with wings. Well, exactly. We are the angels of the earth. So we have the wings and yet we, we, they're, they're not unfolded, they're closed. So with his frequency, I'm just using this as, as kind of an analogy. He's showing us that we do have wings. We have an amazing capacity to hold light, um, an amazing ability to be loved and show love. And this is so, so important. And there's a shifting out of the mental body, the, the density, which we must make. And so with the source light attunement, I, I won't lie, it, it, it's very, very vibrationally transformative, if that's the right word. It, it will work on your, some people feel tingles, some people feel um, sensations in their vessels. Some people don't feel anything at all. And the, for the ones that may not feel anything at all, don't worry. It just means that when Metatron's uniquely connecting with that divine vessel, there may be different things that may need a little bit of recalibration. Um, he's just shown me again, we carry, we carry. So we want to be able to breathe, come up the water, from the water, he's saying. So we need to be able to become lighter and, and unload all these things that we carry so that we can with each with each divine soul that becomes aware of source energy however they're doing that not just through metatronia but any other beautiful things that are coming out right now you are experiencing your divine potential and it's all relevant and all part and parcel of we we have to shift in our consciousness and with every person that does this another light goes on another light goes on and the lighter and brighter we become, we create the shift and it's necessary. It's so, so necessary. And we are 
here to raise the vibration of the earth and these frequencies allow us to do this in our body. Again, to hold more light in our body and attuning to higher frequencies, holding more light in our body allows us to express more light and to be that love. So when we do this as well, again, this higher self connection with this light gives us solutions, gives us inspirations, aligns us with a blueprint of our Absolutely. soul. Yeah, beautiful, beautifully put, Lauren. And, and also, as our frequency rises, we get gifts. So it's like you match the frequency that I require for humanity. It sounds a bit disciplined. It is disciplined, but in a beautiful way. It, it's very ordered. It's very structured and very ordered. So it, it's almost like Metatron says, so, so you match the frequency and I will give you more gifts. And you rise in frequency again and I will show you more gifts. So it's very much, yes, divine blueprint, divine template. Um, some people call this a gematria body. I don't want to get into too many technical terms, but the, absolutely about the preparation of the vessel, the divine, the divine human. And it has a lot to do with where we're heading, where the earth has to be. Again, that word divine potential. So very, very, very much coming out of the mind releasing all of that mental stuff and, and structured reality and you know it's almost as if the universe just opens up before you when you start to vibrate at these high frequencies everything becomes everything becomes just you notice things that you might not have noticed before you just become so grateful of being able to have this divine human experience it, it is very much a knock at the door to wake up to our divine potential absolutely now when we shift out of the mental body shift out of the mind shift out of the ego it's important not to have any expectations here as we go to witness this right absolutely yeah a brilliant question again because if you imagine and we've all done it so we live and breathe you know uh, we work we do these all the things that we, we may be doing in life but for me personally when I started to work with Metatron and was experiencing um, his sort of divine geometries, how his light works, his dynamics, um, the dynamics of source. I became aware of, wow, I'd been living in this capsule of entrapment, but he's saying that's necessary because that's why you say, that's why we use the term awakening, although I don't really like the term too much. But, it's all necessary to realize that you come to a certain point and then you realize when you do start to be the light and exist as the light and expanding frequency, I had to orchestrate all my life, but I realized that I don't. Source already knows what I need. And this is part of the source light achievement as well. The beauty of it is it's aligned people with their purpose. Um, people have gone on to do different things, become an artist, a painter, um, a nurse, a doctor, all different things because it, it releases within you all the, maybe the fragilities you might have, the anxieties, the um, perhaps even the wrong expectation of the self. It brings you home to the truth because you're working with um, divinely ordered geometries. So then you look at is the mind scattered? Is the emotional body a bit scattered? Is there um, trauma? Is there healing that's necessary? Because he'll always heal first also. We call it healing. He calls it aligning. He'll always heal the parts and the fragments to bring the whole, to bring the order. Um, and we all just have an ex a, a unique experience when we connect with Metatron. It's always gonna be, a, but, but it's very disciplined and very beautiful and the important part is we don't have to run the show anymore I certainly don't now I I, I don't know what I'm doing next I just say okay what, what's I'm open to receive what's next and I've been doing that for 10 years what's next I've done that now what's next show me I don't have to think about it I have to do the physical human stuff of course but you find that if you're doing the right thing, the universe will just keep bringing the gift 
and bring the next gift. And it's for me, it's always been about not about the self, but about human beings and the realization of if they can let go and trust, there's so much beauty inside of them, so much capacity to um, experience the divine in this lifetime, to ascend in this lifetime. It's no longer something that um, may have been held in religious texts, if I may say so, of something we can't attain to. We absolutely can attain to our vibrational alignment. And it's a beautiful, beautiful experience. Like, there's no words. It, again, it's got to be the, the individual's experience of, of source saying hi. You know, I, I'm, I actually i am conscious. I'm intelligent. I'm, I'm here for you. It's beautiful, but very, very humbling. So letting go and trusting is key and beautiful. I love how you ask as well, what's next? That really is surrendering to the divine will, the divine will. And that is actually really our alignment with purpose, our soul purpose. You know, that is one of the most frequently asked questions. What is my purpose? What is my purpose um, for me personally was the moment I um, surrendered and allowed the universe to come in. And I, I was scared at this point. I didn't know what was going on. Um, I'd lost kind of my co cognition took a hit and I, I really didn't know what was going on. And, and it was absolutely necessary. This energy exists this divine intelligent life force this 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 source it truly truly exists and if it did for me what it did for me i know that it helps other people and we have thousands of people over the world that's experienced not just metatronia energy but a, a divine connection to you know we look up what is this what are you who are you it's ultimately source and it's a beautiful but I didn't orchestrate any of it. I just said, I don't know what's happening here. Wow. <laughs> Suddenly my little closed in capsule was like, poof, you are infinite and, and just open yourself to any possibility. So what is your purpose? Don't worry about it. Universe, show me, you know, show me. I don't know. I thought I was a military clerk for 20 years. Actually, you're not. That's not what you're doing anymore because we're going to show you something else. And I didn't have to do anything other than listen. I had to listen to that voice. Um, it was like um, how we talk and we, we, we communicate. It was an internal dialogue that would just say to me, this is what you need to do next. And we, we want you to put, and I was like, I must be going mental. No, no. It's such a beautiful experience and every human being can have this experience if they let go and trust, open, let, let, let them in, you know, let the light in. It's a beautiful, beautiful experience. Yes, and so there are some who don't know the voice of the higher self or would like to learn more about hearing that voice. Can you describe that voice of the higher self? It's so, for me, it was, um, it was not me or of me, and yet it was. So it wasn't me going, oh, what's for tea tonight? Or in the shop going, hmm, sort of like, you know how you, internal dialogue. This wasn't, this wasn't that. This was something that was so familiar to me. I don't, it just felt like an ancient familiarity saying uh, at the time, you need to lose this, you need to leave this job or, we're going to make it really uncomfortable. And I think I've told you this before, so I'll just be brief. It became really uncomfortable. I mean, it was like everything that could, and it was became comical. It was like, you guys, it's like, what? and I just said to my husband one day, I have to leave this job. Why? Because I know something else is coming. And it's ludicrous, really, when you think about it. But when I look back now, Source, Metatron was guiding me you know, the guiding hand for humanity, the guiding hand that, that reaches out and, and assists divine intervention. Let's call it divine intervention. Humans like terms, don't they? Let's go with divine intervention. This was just a, vo a voice. Um, but beyond my consciousness, guiding me like a parent, 
do you, do you get what I'm trying to say? Like a loving guardian saying, right, you've done this up to this point. Now we've got something else we'd like you to do. Now, I could have ignored it and I'd still be tippy tapping away on a computer in an office thinking, I wonder, I wonder what's out there. Now, I took a leap of faith and I'm so glad. I'm so glad that my little fragile vessel at the time went, you know, I'm going to listen. I'm, ac I'm actually going to take my hands off the reins of my life and my control of my life. And I'm going to trust in, in this. I'm going to trust in God. I'm going to trust in you. You know, I'm just going to let you do. Some people might not like that term, but for me, an all overseeing, all empowering energy, um, the creator life force, if you like, to me, it's source, but it, it led me and it, it guided me. Um, I didn't do this on my own. You know, I'm not I'm not here where I am now. And I didn't do that on my own. It's I always praise this energy, you know, that's it's trying to reach every heart, you know, it's trying to reach, and people like myself and other beautiful people doing this sort of work, we're just here to help you, to, to just give you that little bit of a, a, a push to experience um, that divine consciousness, that divine voice. Don't listen too hard, you know, it's going to be something that's going to come outside of your, it's going to be come out, it's not you going, oh, come on, look no, go and wash up or go running or just, it comes from a different, um, a different vibrational place than the limited separation consciousness. It's, uni it's universal, you. yes. It's the same for everybody. And thank you for sharing that because it's important that we discern that voice. And I want to just say that you listened and you decided to follow the advice of that higher self, that inner voice. And if you didn't, you would be tapping away, but you'd also be maybe hearing that voice in a little bit louder way <laughs> until it becomes like um, the proverbial two by four over the head. And so as we each get better at it, don't we? We each get Absolutely. better at listening and taking the direction. And it also becomes vibrational as well. It, it becomes mine was physical as well it, it was it almost became like walking around in a physical heavy um, metal suit it was so um, so much vibrational dynamics and symptoms um, that could not be ignored that I could have maybe kept going to the doctors and but Archangel Metatron was saying I mean, it sounds nuts to some people, doesn't it? I mean, crikey, some of my family don't know what I do because they'd be like, what are you talking about? It was such a vibrational journey of symptoms and things that he said to me, trust me, you know, just I had to trust. And it just opened up this, oh, so many ways he tried to connect with me. And, and the, the one thing that got me the most was when things started to happen like the job that I was doing at the time became so tiresome. It was literally vibrationally tiresome. Um, so that if I hadn't have been doing what I'm doing now or moving into that, I'd have had to go and do something else because it became too difficult to, for me to orchestrate or go to work. Or, so there's a vibrational element of um, ascension, but also um, we class it as the ego. So we class it as this has come from me. This isn't going to work in ascension dynamics because it's very much um, a surrender aspect. Uh, and a lot of people that sort of freaks out a lot of people, but I tell you what, try it. It's, it's absolutely pretty amazing. When you can step out of the belief of who you think you are, you know, this orchestrating, controlling your own life sort of thing to actually the universe, come and help me here. You know, when, when the universe verifies and you get that something may occur, you're like, absolutely wow this and when I when I began the work I was doing in 2010 I met so many beautiful people that are now really really they've become my family you can't make this stuff up you can't I, I would not have known 10 years ago I'd be doing this sort of stuff but I, I found me you know I found myself I found the truth of who I am through source through Metatron and I know that every other human being can have this experience absolutely Absolutely. 
And we thank you for sharing it with the world. What we're going to experience now is a little bit of a vibrational frequency experience. But you also do this one-on-one, -on -one, this source light attunement one-on-one. -on -one, and there's ways that people can work with you on that. And yet you also certify other healers in this. So it is getting out there to the world. And that's what we thank you for. So let's do a little experience with this. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what he wants to do, but um, we're just going to kind of go into a meditative state. I'm just going to talk for a while and then there'll, there'll be a bit of silence so that the vessel can experience whatever is going on for that individual. So um, I'm just going to close my eyes and relax. If you'd like to join me, that's cool. So just be aware of the breath. and the softening as you exhale. And just relax a little further. And be comfortable in the silence and the spaces between each breath. You're a being of light in the vastness of the universe. So much love and light within the vessel. So just be comfortable more, a little more. in this moment right now. As we just begin to dissolve further. Just allowing and becoming aware of the vessel the beating heart beautiful heart and now fully dissolved we're lifting up higher as the air, as light dissolve into divine particles. And something is pulling us higher. as the body fills with light. Just pulling up higher still. Above into the planets. The universe above. So Archangel Metatron is just sending light to just balance and align the vessel. And there's no time here, so it's very fast, very swift, very simple.
Just feel that expansion. As if you've become consciousness itself. as if you can see everything all at once. Part of everything. Releasing the separation. And uniting in source light. Just expanding further. so your light can truly shine unhindered. So your vibration is aligned and flowing beautifully. Unhindered. Just allowing that shift, that realigning. And feeling that divine love pouring into the heart center. Feel that vastness of the universe. Rising into a place of stillness. Rising to divine consciousness and unity. Allow that love to just flow around the vessel. The love itself is the highest vibration, magnetizing, magical, and magnificent. Just awareness once more of the vastness of the universe, the love and light of Archangel Metatron. As you begin to just be aware of the physical vessel, the beauty of your physical vessel and the awareness of the light within your heart. And when you're ready, just 
come back fully into the physical vessel. In your own time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I truly hope everyone feels that and actually comes back to this and does it again. Mm -hmm. And anytime we need that connection. I'm amazed, Tammy. Every time I do this with you, I feel things in such a different way. <laughs> this was me too. <laughs> I get a hit too. It's like, yeah. I always get a hit too. And it's, I just let whatever's going to happen, whatever needs to occur that it, I, I live for the grace of source, you know, so it's a unique experience for each soul. Absolutely. I'm hoping everyone is feeling great joy from this um, expansiveness, happiness, and such a soft frequency of love. It is beautiful. As we were raising up, instead of me raising up, like in my consciousness, I was thinking I would raise up. I felt like I was expanding outward. Yes. Yeah. Getting really fat, like my, and then it felt like I was almost dissolving out of, definitely expanding out of this physical form. And <laughs> that's what gives me such joy right now. Because again, it's that feeling that our mind cannot really identify or express or label, but it's beautiful. And, and if you're in service, good. sorry to interrupt, if you're in service to the light, such as yourself, this expansion is necessary so we can hold more light, so we can do more stuff. So it's, it's always about, okay, you've got that bit. So new things are coming, expansion, new exciting things. So the universe says, okay, we've stretched you a little bit. So we're going to stretch you some more and you can hold. So it's always um, expansion, expansion to hold that capacity of light. But if you're in service, things are hotting up because the truth is necessary. The vibrational truth for humanity is necessary. And that is beautiful. So there's a way that all of those listening and watching can work with you and do this attunement on an even deeper level, on a personal one-on-one -on -one level. So what happens in that attunement versus what we did here? They can have a chat with me like we're doing now. So we get a kind of pen picture. Um, I think people always like to see their, their sort of therapist or their, their practitioner that's helping them or just chat with me. I mean, it's, I, I, I like to treat people like friends. You know, I've got, uh, I, I just like to speak to people on, on an even keel. It, it works great for me, but general chit chat. And then we book, um, not everyone can do that. They don't have to do that. Some people don't like to do that. So if it's, it's an option for them, but then we just book a date and time for the person to lie down to receive that hour um, light experience, if you like, the attunement. Um, we say one hour because some people do about 45 minutes because they're like, I've got to get up now. Some people do an hour and a half, but usually an hour is OK. Um, and that's kind of it. And then the, the beauty of it is weeks and weeks after this cal recalibration is still occurring. So it's I usually get people saying, well, what, what can I expect? Don't expect anything. Let let the universe bring, bring those gifts. You know, it's, it's a simple distant session. The simple chat, there's no forms, um, there's no courses. The greatest teacher you're ever going to have is you, yourself and, and trusting in, um, in the light, in, in source. So, yeah, it's really pretty simple. And what a beautiful gift we can give to ourselves, this sort of a personal attunement with our higher self. And we don't go backwards when we experience this, we only expand from here. So it accelerates our path, no matter where we are on it. Like I said, I've done this with you for a decade, at least now, and every <laughs> time it's different and it's just so beautiful. 
So we invite those to get this source light attunement with Tammy. On this webpage, you can learn more about that and sign up with Tammy. You are available immediately to begin working with people. You also do a certification with a healer for healers who are out there. Yeah, I train light workers. Um, but I kind of, the, the Metatronian Foundation of Light, it, we, it, it's quite disciplined in that when we attune people, they are Metatron's light workers. So we have registration for our practitioners, those in dedicated service to the light. So yeah, we've got, we've got the metaphysical school that's that's now set up and it's service to humanity. So we, we kind of have a little bit of structure there, if you like, because we, we've got people that have gone through their own journey, they experience some of the dynamics of light and they want to go and help other people. So um, we're there sort of to help them every step of the way, whether they just want the source light attunement, whether they want to just be have some light worker training, or if they want to go up to be a met metaphysic uh, metaphysician, sorry, we now have a metaphysician course. Um, but yeah, we look after you. Um, I say we, obviously it's myself uh, and sort of uh, Metatron. It's more so Metatron. But we also have um, practitioners all over the globe that are on our register. So we're kind of like a little family that's quite rapidly growing. But yeah, we help light workers. It's uh, those in service to the light. I think it's it's rapidly becoming um, its own pandemic, this light evolution. We've got to get get in there and help and assist as, as much as we can. Absolutely. Um, we all know that our journey is one thing. What we know in our, in our world, we may not think we need to share that with others, but we absolutely do. Once we go through something in our own life, we can be here fortified and strong to help Absolutely. others. And that's really what we're doing. So for those who are interested, there, I know we have many healers or we have yeah. people who want to add this to their service work and that's beautiful. So we can look on this webpage for that as well. Tammy, thank you so much for this beautiful vibrational experience today, truly receiving in the new earth codes of divine light. And we thank you. So as we say goodbye, I just want to give you a quick moment to share anything else. I just want to thank you for um, having me on the show and, and the beautiful work that you do, Lauren. Um, it's just wonderful to, to connect again and to the wonderful people that you have on your, um, your show and, and all that you do. And grateful to those who are awakening and really feeling that ascending frequency and the necessity for us to really learn our divine potential and experience our divine potential so great great times although it feels a bit heavy right now we're getting there things are going to change and that light's going to come in and really really help humanity we do it one by one thank you lauren it's been lovely it was always lovely <laughs> thank you tammy my shack your special offer is right here on this web page for listeners to really tune in more with the higher self and expand into your divine potential. Thank you. Namaste, Tammy. Thank you, Lauren. Take care.